Well, we're by the bridge in Bridgewater. We're by the barrage behind me in Bridgewater, protecting the houses I think you can see just over my shoulder. We know an awful lot about the situation now in the Somerset, but today brings a, a much more widening development, a storm surge affecting the whole of the western seaboard from the Western Isles, Lewis, down to Devon and Cornwall. And tonight, a particular warning regarding the seven bores coming on the high tides tonight and tomorrow morning. But as well as that, genuine political anger here as well. Early morning, Glastonbury tour and something very odd. Viewers from abroad will recognize this as a phenomenon called sunshine. That didn't last. Although people of the Somerset levels have won their battle against the Environment Agency to restart river dredging here, they remain angry, angry at the Environment Agency. Just listen to the local MP. Well, it is lions led by donkeys, and the biggest ass of all is Chris Smith at the very top. What we're furious with are these damn people in London who couldn't give a stuff about my constituents or anyone else. But tonight, the story is the whole of the western seaboard of Britain and Ireland. This is Aberystwyth. There is a surge combination, westerly gales, spring tides, and a saturated landmass. Stornoway, paddleboarding in the streets in the snow, the dog included. About 800 miles south in Bude, the Coast Guard's taking no chances, and nor were householders. And in Gloucestershire, if you've got to get to the pub, you've got to get to the pub even if the levee wall across the road is unequal to the surge up the Severn. Whether coming tidal surges or bores are a genuine concern. The power of this is really awesome and that, that's why we've issued the severe flood warnings. There's a lot of people about watching the bore. If it does come over the tops, as you've seen, over the top of the embankment, it all happens very, very quickly. It's really easy to get cut off, stranded, even washed away by the, uh, by the power of the water. So, you know, we'll be keeping those on for the tides again tonight. At Bridgewater in Somerset, they await then high tide tonight and the even higher one at 9am tomorrow. This Swedish-designed plastic barrier has already saved the street from inundation this morning. What are the advantages to what we've got here over the traditional Great British sandbag? <laughs> well, it's a lot quicker to put up. And also you don't have the polluted sand afterwards, which often is a problem. And you don't have to fill the sandbags, carry them and, you know, put, stack them up. This one is, is more like a flat pack Meccano set that you just unfold one support after the other and it's a lot quicker, basically. Behind the Swedish barrier, Adrian Barber's house is, with luck, protected in the coming hours. But like so many, he says, this is just happening more and more often. Well, it's very much like a, a flash flood. It, uh, as the brook fills up, um, oh, I suppose it must be 20 foot down there, 15, 20 foot, it just comes up in a matter of a quarter of an hour and it just floods all the back. So there you have it, from this street in Bridgewater, south to Cornwall, north to the Western Isles, an anxious wait for the coming two very high tides. Well, Alex, you alluded to concern about the seven bore. Just tell us a bit more about that. Yes, um, just before I get on to that, Kathy, let me say Chris uh, Smith responding to the comments from the local MP there saying, as one might expect, this is not a time for such business. We should deal with the actual crisis that's in place. We've got a huge situation here across the whole of the western seaboard of, of, of Britain from north to south. Nobody quite knows what's going to happen. But yes, particular concern, the Seven Bore. It's a big bore tonight. It's a big tide. It's an even bigger one tomorrow. It's a tourist attraction, a lot of people in place. And there's particular concern about that tonight. You saw in our report the pub featured there. That's called the Seven Bore Pub. And you saw the water already coming over this morning. They expect more of that, but perhaps a good deal more seriously uh, this evening and, of course, tomorrow morning. The bore tonight, a little after nine o'clock, the one uh, tomorrow morning, also nine o'clock. Nobody knows what's going to happen.